First thing you want to do is uh, take your standard cap off. That'll screw it off. Tube. Next thing you want to do now is take your handle. Uh, it's going to be a little hard to take off. No. It'd be kind of nice if we came up with like a puller or something. Pull this sucker out. want to do is hit it on the bottom bring the top out a little and then you go ahead and uh, hit that out go. now you're gonna loosen your uh, bonnet nuts do now is pull your your screw housing out you gotta remember you, that you got a bearing in there be sure that your bearing is still in there or if it even has one you gotta be sure and install one so now you're gonna clockwise take your stem screw out Step screw out. You got a bearing right here. What I usually do is put it on top of your retainer. Keep it there. Now you gotta take your retainer out. You need a screwdriver. Get under this groove here. Just pull it up. Last thing is you're gonna put, uh, take your gland ring out. Perfect. Now you're gonna take your packing out with your pick. Pull it out. Another one. Put some grease in there. You're gonna do the same thing you did on the three inch, same way. Put it on, counterclockwise. Pull it down, just like the three inch, you're gonna push one side in, work it all the way around.
it in with your pipe. Call the second one. By the way, you want to have a screwdriver that's not really too sharp on the edge. It's kind of like flat. You don't want to cut your packing. Put your glandering ring last. might have a little air stuck in between those two packings when you install it and what I usually do is when I go down with it I kind of wiggle it and get that air out of there grease it up put your retainer back on gotta remember that your, your bearing is still there when you install your stem screw back on. Counterclockwise. All right. Make sure that when you do go all the way down on this to make sure that your bearing is actually lined up even with your stem screw. Let me give you a good example of not, not what to do. You don't want to put it down in your bearings like that. You want to be able to have your bearing centered right underneath your stamp screw, just like that. Okay. You don't want to pinch it. See, it's pretty centered there. Grease it back up. Now you're going to install your screw housing. Make sure that your bearing is in there. And uh, when you install it, you can put it either either way. It doesn't really matter. There's no timing. There's no timing on here. This is a self-time gate valve, so you don't have to worry about the timing getting messed up on here. Go down with it and then uh, tie your nuts. Put your nuts on the time. And these gloves really don't last that long, huh? Go ahead and tie your nuts. <clears throat> then install your key. You gotta make sure that when you install your key to make sure that the top is further in than the bottom. If you install it like that, what's gonna happen is when you install your, your handle, your key's gonna fall out. So be sure that it's further in on top than it is on bottom. Now you're gonna install your, your handle. Slot right there. Be sure you line that up with the key. and hit it that, uh, down with a mallet hammer. There you go. Put your stem screw back on with your tube in there.
you don't want to break your tube, make sure it's lined up in that slot inside. And there you go. One more thing on the three inch and four inch. Be sure that you're at least two threads above the nut. In this case, I'm gonna have to pull these nuts, these studs up, but be sure that when you're out there, make sure that you have two threads out the, out the nut.